In the mid-1980s, Pezzamenti designed, manufactured and began operating Australia's first micro-tunnelling system. Since that time, we have been broadening our capability to micro-tunnel further, at flatter and flatter grades, in a greater range of ground conditions and using an increasing variety of pipe types as they enter the marketplace. One of the more high risk projects is to pipe jack in soft ground under critical or valuable surface features for relatively long distances. During September 2015, Pezzamenti worked on and completed three significant projects simultaneously. They were all long distance, soft ground, flat grades, but each with a different jacked outer casing pipe. The first project was at Riverson in northwest Sydney where Pezzamenti was awarded the micro tunnelling contract by Comdane. The Northwest Growth Centre is a stage development primarily for residential use. The sewer carriers are often required to pass through land with high natural and Aboriginal significance. Micro tunnelling these sections was chosen by the designers to preserve these areas. The design required the pipe in a pipe micro tunnel bore section. The longest drive was pipe jacking a 600mm diameter steel casing for a distance of 192 metres at 1% grade in saturated sandy clays and gravels. Jason and his crew completed the pipe jacking in 8 days. The maximum jacking load was 22 tonne. After the steel casing was installed, a 450mm diameter GRP pipe was installed into the steel casing and the annular space grouted. The second project was at St Clair. Ropes Creek is a significant waterway with a large catchment area in western Sydney and hence is the location of major sewer carriers conveying sewage to St Mary's treatment works. A major industrial development in Horsley Park required the installation of a two kilometre long sewer carrier, part of which was installed in the environmentally sensitive floodplain of Ropes Creek, approximately 1100 metres was micro tunneled. The design called for a close fit bore section using a GRP jacking pipe, which ranged in diameter from 375 to 525 millimeters in diameter. The length pipe jack varied from 40 meters to 180 meters in the soft, saturated sandy clays and gravels at grades as flat as 0.2%. The GRP jacking pipes were manufactured in Adelaide by RCP. Paul and his crew recorded a maximum jacking load of only 21 tonnes on the GRP jacking pipes, significantly under the maximum allowable jacking load of the pipes of 68 tonne. One major undercrossing was the Warragamba Dam to Prospect Reservoir Pipeline. The pipeline was successfully underboard with zero settlement. The third project was at Minchinbury in Western Sydney. Upstream development required Sydney Water to extend an existing 450mm diameter sewer carrier under Sydney's main Western Arterial M4 freeway. The design crossed the M4 diagonally which enabled the route to also cross under a main high voltage transmission corridor. The design called for 675mm internal diameter reinforced concrete jacking pipe to house a 450 polypropylene pipe. Pezzamenti was awarded the micro tunnelling work by Abigeldi, the head contractor. One advantage of the Pezzamenti system is its ability to use jacking pipes which do not have to have watertight joints. Some micro tunnelling systems require watertight joints and hence require a more expensive jacking pipe type. Pezzamenti recommended using the butt jointed reinforced concrete jacking pipe for this project. It is a far less expensive option than the rubber ring jointed reinforced concrete pipe, for example the Humes S&J series. The butt jointed pipe, when used as an outer casing only, is a good structural and economical solution. Luke and his crew completed the 207 metre long drive, which is now the longest pipe jacking drive completed by Pezzamenti. The grade was 0.4% through saturated sandy clays and sandy gravels and was completed in three weeks. The maximum axial jacking load on the concrete pipes was a very low 19 tonnes.
The actual jacking loads measured on all three projects was very low, approximately 20 tonne. This means we only ever reached between 12 and 30% of the allowable axial jacking load of the jacking pipes. This was largely due to the high accuracy of the micro tunneling achieved on all three projects. Sometimes clients, designers or contractors ask us if Pezzamenti are able to micro tunnel in soft ground conditions. These three projects are among 152 jobs pipe jacked over the last 21 years. These 152 jobs tally to a total distance of nearly 12,000 metres pipe jacked in soft ground conditions. Please call us if you have any questions regarding pipe jacking design or construction feasibility. Further, you can book a one hour presentation, which is an introduction into micro tunneling and pipe jacking. Our clients have been using this as part of their ongoing professional development for their team.